Hey, this is Liddy Michelle, aka Big Liddy. If you want this fade, come and get it. And I'm here today to tell you to go ahead to Body Crush Studio and get you a luxury V steam for thirty five dollars on Wednesdays. Barbie, how you feel? Oh, girl, feel real good. I'm over here just relaxing because you know V Day was yesterday, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You no. already know I'm over here cooling, big cooling. <laughs> uh, cooling, cooling. So y'all make sure y'all head over to Slauson and Rempaw, Body Crush Studio, and get this V-Sting, baby. You want that coochie clean, come and get it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Liddy After Dark. Liddy After Dark. I'm going to say it again. Liddy After Dark. And this has nothing to do with my skin complexion. But it's Liddy After Dark. Okay? Liddy After Dark. I'm going to be doing this rarely where I pop in and pop out on y'all. And let you guys ask me questions through the phone line. Now, I posted the phone line number earlier, and some of you guys still have it from last time. But when I say it's Liddy After Dark, the phone line is open, that does not mean blow me up before I go live. That does not mean try to call me on Instagram. That does not mean comment a hundred times, Liddy answer the phone. And that does not mean Cuss me out on my own voicemail. That don't mean that. <laughs> that don't mean that. Y'all better be nice to me. Y'all better start being nice to me. So before we get into the phone line, which I, I am going to open it up in a second, I just want to talk about some things. Like, I want to talk about me. Because I feel like I don't talk about me enough. So, before I get to talking about me, how was y'all day? How was y'all day? And, I, and I'm going to look into the comments and I want y'all to tell me, how was y'all day today? Shane says, oh my gosh, I finally caught it live. You caught me. DeAndre Harden says, have my baby. No. No. Um, Super Duper Bro 44 says, good with a T. Okay, your day was good. Badass Kid says, blessed. 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 I like that word, blessed. Because I've been feeling blessed lately. I have, like, I'm not a perfect person. Nobody is. But I definitely have been feeling blessed. Like, i just been so happy. Um, real happy. Because a lot of the things that I've manifested over the years, they starting to come true. And it's just been feeling like, you know, it's been feeling a little overwhelming for me at times. Like, Sometimes, y'all, I be crying, right? Like, everybody knows Lydia is a crybaby. Yes, I'm a crybaby. And not only am I a crybaby, I still suck my thumb. So I'm really like a big baby, like, on the lowest key. But um, long story short, a lot of things have been coming my way that have been unfamiliar blessings. But it's not unfamiliar because I don't know about it. It's unfamiliar because it's never happened before. So I just been feeling, you know, real good about that. I'm reading you guys' comments. Like, I'm really, Liddy After Dark, you guys, is going to be where I fully interact with you guys. That is what Liddy After Dark is for. So, like, I'm, I'm in the comments, but I'm, I'm having a conversation with y'all at the same time. Carmen Williams when you bless people, you get blessed 10 times fold, boo. Period. She deaf is, hold on. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Shoe. Jimmy, she deaf is a crybaby and she spoiled and fall asleep getting her hair done. Yes, I do. 
Yes, I do. I do fall asleep while getting my hair done. Because I'm going to tell you all a fun fact about me. I don't like getting my hair done. Like, I'd rather just press my hair, flat iron it, and wear my natural hair. That's what I'd rather do. But the wigs be cute, though. The hair be cute, though. Hair by Kiki Hustle. Hair by Kiki Hustle. She gave me a touch-up from the last show with these, like, these pretty little butterfly chopsticks, and I love them. And I love them. Like, it's giving Chun-Li. Like, I'm definitely giving Chun-Li. You want this fade? Come and get it. However the little Chinese accent is, whatever. But, yeah, you feel me? But, you know, Liddy After Dark, we back to it. So, the word blessed, that's where we was at. I am, um, I feel blessed. Like, I really feel blessed. First and foremost, like, being from L.A., and doing music in LA, like when you do a particular type of music or you have a particular type of sound, you want to reach a certain audience. So I was like real happy to to reach the audience of, it's, and, it, and it's, it's crazy what I'm about to say, but I reached the audience of the youth, right? And it's not because I want them to be cussing or nothing like that, but it's just the sound because there is a clean version coming soon. For anybody that be like, Liddy, da, 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 it's a clean version coming soon. But, you know, like, I'm happy, like, you know, to see them, like, really fucking it up to my shit. Like, I like that. I like that. And it's from where I'm from. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but I am streaming from L.A. Like, you know. So to get recognized where you're from, and no matter where you're from, it's always a blessing. You feel me? Uh, Yolanda Bennett, I enjoy seeing you progress. Brianna Singleton, Charleston, South Carolina, in a building, period. T. Davis, oh, coming down here soon, period. Uh, Martin, uh, is that Jose? Yeah, Martin Jose. Buki, you plan on going back to reality TV? Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not, I, I really don't want to be nobody's cast member no more. Like, I really don't. I, I see myself, like, doing other things. Now, if the opportunity presents itself with a nice size bag, y'all know Liddy gonna go. But that's, that's just not something that I desire anymore. Like, I don't care. Like, at first I felt like, huh, maybe the Academy would be a good show for me. Maybe that's where I want to go. And then I thought about it. I was like, I know how to grow. I, I, I know how to grow. I don't, I know how to grow. I don't need to fight and then try to grow too. Like, I mean, it's a good experience. I, I'm pretty sure of it, but not that I'm bigger than anything or nothing like that. Definitely not saying that. I'm just saying like, I feel like I know how to work on me. Like, I feel like what I've been doing and what I've been striving to do, I feel like I'm headed in a good direction. And I'm not stopping, you know? So when it comes to reality TV, it just really depends on what it is. Like, I've never had a, a good reality TV experience on the show that's what i mean like as far as like outside like I've, I've i've had a good experience even when even when i was you know helping out with uh mean girls for that one day like i had a good experience because i was doing something but that was on the other side as far as being a cast member i have not had a good experience that shit is not fun it's not like it's not fun like, it has its fun moments, but it's like, what's fun about bitches plotting on wanting to fight you and you don't know about it? What's fun about that? Ain't nothing fun about that. I'm not, I don't, I'm not used to it, so, yeah. Let's see what y'all saying in the comments. Liddy is host material. I am definitely host material. Like, I feel like I'll be a dope-ass host. If somebody gave me the chance, I definitely feel like I would be a dope host. I feel like me hosting, I'm organized. 
I'm creative, and I'm gonna actually care about my, you know, my cast members. You know, so I feel like me hosting, somebody needs to give me a shot. Let me host your show. If you watching this and you got an upcoming show, let me host your show. Like, I feel like I would definitely be a good host. Um, Can you open the line, boo? I'm about to open the line. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. Y'all know I could chicken out right after this because it's my show. I'm just playing. I'm not going to do y'all like that. Okay. So, if you don't have the call in line, I'm about to give y'all the number right now. Is y'all ready? Are you ready? Are y'all ready for the call in line? So, the call in line number is. 213-536-1152. 213-536-1152. Now, before I start answering calls, first off, I want to say this, okay? On YouTube, I have memberships, right? And the memberships that I have is the Liddy Committee and the OG Liddy Babies, okay? Now, I have about, I think, I ain't gonna say the exact number, but if you're a Liddy Baby, I'm going to be getting in contact with you guys, and I want you guys that are in the community, whether it's the Liddy, Liddy Baby community or the OG Liddy Babies, I want y'all to pay attention to the post tonight, because if you're a part of the committee, I'm going to be sending you guys out a gift. I'm going to be sending you guys out something special in the mail that nobody has because you guys bought the memberships before it was advertised. Now, if you want to be a part of the Liddy Babies, go ahead, go to the community tab, or I think it's like the membership tab, and go ahead and purchase you a membership, okay? The, the community of membership is what I do is, like, I let you guys know who's coming on before they come on. Um, I talk to you guys, like ask you guys your opinions. I even let you guys help me with the next show topics, okay? So it's get a membership if you really want to, like, you know, be in tuned on what's going on behind the scenes on the Liddy Show, all right? And then look at y'all. Y'all calling. Y'all calling already. Let's get this party started. To accept, press one. To send. Hello, what's the deal? This Liddy. Hey. Hello. Hello, what's the deal? This Liddy. What's the deal? No much. Where you calling from? Um, Chicago. You calling from Chicago? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what's up? You got a question? What What you want to talk about? Well, I just want to say you my favorite on South Central Daddies. And I also wanted to know what made you start doing a little podcast? Because I seen you on the TV and then you switched over to YouTube and... Whatever, so I was just wondering, what made you switch? Well, first off, this ain't no little podcast. This is a big talk show, okay? Uh, my fault, my fault. Okay, so um, what made me want to start doing this is because basically, like, I started the Liddy Show because I wanted to capitalize off me. Like, I wanted to be able to have something on my own. I didn't want to wait around for the next show. I didn't want to wait around for somebody to give me a chance. I wanted to do it on my own. That's that's pretty much that. I wanted to do something on my own. And then too, like I'm I'm a creative person by nature. So I like doing sh I like doing stuff. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you know a lot of people come over here and watch you. 
I'm like one of the people too. And I just want to say, when you see Spy Nine, I want you to get her. She's doing all this talking, and she ain't come, trying to come sit down. What she say? What happened? What happened? What she say? She just be doing a lot of talking. I feel like you need to get her one more time, and then y'all can sit down and talk like, you know, how y'all supposed to. Oh, you seen her talking about me recently? No. I really don't be um, um, paying attention to all that little extra stuff. I just tune in to what you be saying. Oh, period, yeah. But she do be going live and stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that bitch yeah, know better. She not about to be. She not gonna come on this show. She not gonna. She too scared. Yeah, oh, <clears throat> oh, you should have talked about how she didn't even show up to the Mean Girls for real. Well, she didn't show up to the Mean Girls because she she said because I got into it with her on Clubhouse one time, and she told me that um, on the Clubhouse with Newport and them, she told me. Oh, it was too many ops in one room. But I didn't understand what she meant by too many ops in one room because if she was just scared of Bila, who else was there? Did they tell you I was there? Because I was there to work. I wasn't worried about you. So I don't know. Because I heard, like, her homegirls was on the show too. I don't know. But, you know, I think she was scared of Bila. I don't know. Oh, you need, oh, that's what you need to get on here. Bila in my mind. I like them together. They should be the next people. The be, ne- be on, in jail. Be in jail. Oh, yeah, I forgot she in jail. Is they in jail, too? Girl, yeah. Dang. Well, you can still get my mask. I think Dang, about when it. When she get out? When she supposed to get out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when she get out, but she going to get out soon. But thank you for calling. Yeah, yeah, she needs you welcome. I'll call back next time. Period. Period. You from Chicago, right? Yep. All right. You have a blessed night. You too. She wanted the tea, y'all. She wanted the tea. She said, when be look get out? Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. Big Liddy, big Liddy. If you want this fade, come and get it. You if you want me? this fade, come and get it. Period. What's the deal? Yeah, Where are you calling from? Man. South Carolina, Greenwood. Shawty, what's good? All right, South Carolina, period. So what's your name? For sure. Saeed, man. Me and my old lady be watching y'all all the time. Y'all crazy ass. <laughs> you be watching it with your old lady? Yeah, man. Where's she at? Yeah, she oh, right here. I'm trying to get on that TV show with you. Like, oh, you trying to come? You trying to come yeah. on the show too? Yeah, that girl crazy as hell. She on the same shit. <laughs> Word. Hey, hey, yo ass turned though on God. Thank you. I don't mean to be. It be on accident. You got a question for me, or you want to say like- something? What y'all gotta say? Nah, I just wanted to call and chop it up with you because I seen you on here for real. Look, with my IG, peso the smurf, man. What is it? Say it again. Hey, it's one, one peso the smurf underscore. Period. Tell your old lady this is what she got to do. When not us TV, say they doing auditions, just tell her to pop up with all her homegirls and just start punching everybody. They going to put them on the show. Yeah, hey, I'm coming to punch on down too. Fuck. Y'all just gotta come, come to a go to an audition and just start punching on shit. Like just, just start punching. You, you hey, see the one that you I see do, a star, I, but not me though, not me. But if you see somebody that nah, you, you see is popping, get them you. bitches. Tell her to just start just socking their hands off and jump Billy. Hey, that's gonna get y'all on the shit. That's gonna get you, hey, on, the hey, 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 gonna get you hey, on the show. Hey, listen. Nah, for real. How the hell we get on the Liddy show, though? I'm trying to pop out out there. You Come to L.A. Come to L.A. T- come to L.A. Hey, that's come to but L.A. Hey, but where you here. say y'all in South Carolina? Yeah, if I come out there, you got to put me on the studios, man. Where the studios are up there? They, they all around out here. You got to come to L.A. Y'all hit me up on Instagram. Go comment on my post. I'm going to follow y'all back. I, I say less. I'm going to go fuck with you right now. All right, period. Y'all have a blessed night. For sure, you too, big lady. Big lady, big lady, period. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
his girl, she about to, her, his girl and his friends, her friends, they about to go up there and go crazy. They about to go whoop, whoop shit down. Liddy told me to come and whoop everybody ass. They about to go do that shit on my soul watch. They gonna really go do that shit. We gonna be watching that shit on the T-pages. Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. What's the deal? I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they got shy. Dang, these calls are coming in fast. Y'all got to slow down. Y'all got to slow down. Okay. Here we go. What's the deal, this Liddy? Hi, Liddy. What's the deal, baby? Where you calling from? I'm calling from New Mexico. Okay, period, New Mexico. What's your name? Yes. My name is Joseph. Hey, Joseph, so what's up? What's T? What you want to talk about? So somebody asked my question, but I wonder, since you're doing music and a talk show, which one's really your um, passion? Music is my passion. Music's my first love. It's most um, definitely. Do you have, like, big plans for music? Do I have? Yes, I do have some big plans for music. I can't talk too much about what's going on now, but I can tell y'all I am going to be dropping another single, though. I'm going to be dropping some more music, though. Most definitely. Okay, yeah. Can I ask one more question? Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel pressure since Big Lady was like so viral to like make another hit? Um, do I feel pressure? No, I don't because I before Big Lady I had so many other songs. Like I got the Black Girl album, I got the West Coast Royalty, I got the song with Kareb, I got the song with Sugar Free. Like so, music. When it comes to music, I just like to make music. Keep okay, it real. Gag City. I'm gonna tune in. Period. Thank you. And thank you for calling in. New Mexico. Yes, you want to bye. All right. Bye-bye, baby. Those were some good questions, y'all. Those were some good questions. Let's see who's next. This is Liddy. What's the deal? What's up, Liddy? How you feeling? You know what? I'm feeling a little tipsy, but I'm good, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Where are you so calling from? Question. Oh, I'm calling from New York. Okay, big New York in the building. Ready. Okay. Already. And what's your name? But, um, LaVey. LaVey? Okay, period. LaVey. So what's up? All right, so... I just got a question, because, like, how do you feel that your friend Scarface kind of lied about, <laughs> like, what went down at the reunion? What she lie about? Which part? So, basically, she tried to say that, like, all the girls was doing was just pulling hair, but when we watched part, reunion part one and part two, it looked like some of them... Some of them hits was connecting. And she kind of came on there and she was capping a little bit. Okay, so when it comes to the, the the pull hair part, when you having a fight, do you remember everything that happened in that fight? Or do your adrenaline be rushing and you just be going? Okay, okay. But, I mean, it was like one-on-one -on -one where it's like kind of obvious like what happened. You know what I mean? So it's like she came on a platform and like we wasn't gonna see it. So again, you you said one on one. So I feel like she got jumped in that doggy pile. So we we don't agree. Um, I feel like the the security guards was mostly like they was trying to. But so the who was they? Really let happen. So who was they on top of when they made that doggy pile? I think they. 
I feel like they tried to like jump on top and they they tried to get in there, but the security guards was all over there. They wasn't really letting it happen. So like, who was all on the floor? Was, it, it was just her and Tafiki. I seen really on the floor. So and then who, you see Anna trying to get in there, Biggie trying to get in there. You see um, Camila try to get in there, but really they couldn't really touch her. So did you see that live where Biggie said she kicked Scarface in the face? Oh no! Did she kick her in the face? There's a live where Biggie says she kicked Scarface in the face. Oh, that's crazy! I didn't, I didn't see that. They, they didn't get that on. You know they like to edit and shit. So but, did you I also mean, see the, the live? Line, right with her and Tiki. The one on one with her and Tiki. It's kind of obvious. Like, so the one on one fight. Right, right. The one on one. You say it's kind of obvious now. If they edited out Biggie kicking her in the face. You feel me? What else do you think? And I'm not making no excuses for nobody at all. But if you tell me that she didn't get jumped, I'm telling you what I saw, and I felt like that was her getting jumped. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Now, if you say, oh, well, she said Tzatziki pulled her hair, her wig was gone. Somebody pulled it. Okay. Right? Period. You or did, she, or did, she, or did she have her wig on the whole time? No, that's what you got a point there. And then, oh, right. so did, so did, 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 did hold on, hold on, hold on. So, Tasiki okay. was the one who ripped all her clothes off? Who, who, who ripped her clothes off? Did they show you that part? I think that shit crazy. That shit did get really crazy. Did they show you that I think part? Tasiki was like, um, did they show the part where her clothes getting ripped off? No, because they cut and then exactly. she was already, so, like, I think, going to the back. So, that's my thing right there. Who am I to tell her that she was lying about getting jumped or she was lying about somebody pulling her hair when I seen a doggy pal, her clothes was ripped off, and she didn't have no wig on? Okay. All right. All right. I like the way you handled that. You, you, you gave me a, a different perspective on that. Okay, I feel you. You get what um, I'm saying? So when it comes to... How do you to, feel about the fight, though? Like, do you still feel like she... Do you feel like E.T., you know, like she won the fight, or do you feel like she kind of got beat up? Did you watch my show? Do you watch the Liddy show? Um, I seen when Scar... That was my first time ever watching when Scarface come on there. Okay. After the... Um, after so, I just did a live Monday night, right? And on that okay. live Monday night, I addressed that. So I'm going to be nice. I've been cussing people out about not watching my show. But I'm going to be nice to you. You feel me? But what I said was... Well, don't cuss me out. I'm not going to I'm not gonna cuss you out. I'm not. I'm, I'm going to cuss you out for not watching my shit. You feel me? And and, call, and you got in. It's a million people. It's a, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of people that watch this show that know what I said. But you got through. And you watching it tonight. So I fuck with you. Uh -huh. Okay, I fuck with you. So this is how I feel. I feel like it was a fight, and I feel like, yeah, Tzatziki got the best of E.T. Now, y'all want me to say, oh, E.T. got beat the fuck up. Why would, why would I say that about my friend? No, if I'm if I'm already saying, if I'm already saying, no, but listen, I just did a live, and I said another bitch got the best of my friend, and y'all still say that I'm lying. Y'all want me to to kick my friend when when when, when y'all already against her? And I got a platform, oh, I got a platform, and I'm giving y'all my unbiased opinion. I'm giving y'all real shit. I'm telling y'all, yeah, that girl got the best of my friend, but y'all want me to use the verbiage to kick my friend down. I feel like y'all wrong for that, you know? Nah, nobody wants you to kick your friend down, but I didn't see that live, so that's why I came in here and I wanted to ask you the question because I wanted to see if you was going to be real about it and say, I mean, what what the obvious was, or if you was just going to cape for your friend. But I, I respect the realness that you said. You feel me like she did get the best of her, you know? So that, that's it. We just wanted to see where your head was at and if you were just going to be, you know caping for et because that's your friend but i didn't I and i and y'all still say i did 
and this is a live recording and I'm not going to delete it and I'm going to keep it up. And it don't matter what I say, people still going to be like, Liddy, you're doing this, Liddy, you're doing that. So at the end of the day, like, it's like, it, it really don't matter what I say. It's the verbiage that people want me to use. It's the words that people want me to use, but I don't want to use those words and I don't have to. You feel me? I feel you. And I respect it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, you have no a blessed problem. night. I'm going to tune in. Yeah, you as well. I'm, I'm going to tune in and watch some more. Okay, period. Now I'm about to close the phone line for a little bit and I'm about to talk to y'all real quick. Fuck y'all real quick. I need a chaser. Now, y'all a motherfucking trip. I feel like y'all just be wanting me to conform to what y'all want me to say. And I'm not going to do that. I'm an honest person, but I'm also, I'm also a kind person. And I'm also loyal to those who I love. You feel me? But I'm not loyal enough to those to where I'm delusional or where I'm, I'm going to be weird. I'm not going to do that. But y'all not about to, y'all not about to make me like be weird. Like, that's weird. I said I wasn't gonna smoke on a podcast today, on the talk show today. So I wasn't gonna do that, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Now, the next person somebody asks about EZ. I'm going to cuss y'all out because you got your answer. And if you don't watch my motherfucking show and if you can't not be delusional that I said what I said, then you don't respect me on my platform and you really don't need to be here. You really can just block me or I'll catch you in the comments and I'll block you. That's how this goes. Anyways, so now I'm about to open the phone line back up and we about to get right back into it. We about to get right back into it. Dang, I didn't even light it. This lady on the phone, what's the deal? Oh, oh, baby. Hey, lady. What's the deal, baby? You just was calling to say, we from New York, we don't got no questions. You just calling to say how much we love you, and you're going to be a great host. And, you know, we can't wait to continue to keep watching you, you know, prosper and flourish. Period. Thank you. I love y'all. Big New York. Hey. Period. You know what you need to do? You know what you need to do for me? What happened? So since you in New York, you need to tell the promoters out there to tap into me. Like, I really want to come turn y'all up in New York. Like, right, no cap. Like, right, y'all need to get me booked in the club. Like, I don't even charge that much, and I want to come out there. So, yeah, get me out All there. Right, so, so, if we can do that for you, you want to come out here. I promise. And, and, and I'll come and do TikToks with just you. 
All right, back. All right, back. All right, period. <laughs> Watch them get me booked. <laughs> Watch this. New York, I'm coming. This is Liddy. Hey, Liddy. What's the deal? Girl, tonight you the deal. I just wanted to say you look real pretty tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and um, you sound what's cute. Your, what's your um, sign? Oh, thank you. What's your sign? I'm a Virgo. What's yours? Oh, I like that. Okay. okay. I'm an Aries. I'm an Aries. Ooh, Aries. Y'all crazy. Mm -hmm. what, what city are you from? Okay. I'm from New York, but we're not crazy. We just get a little emotionally violent. That's it. Emotionally, so you gonna um, one beat last me? Question. <laughs> if it was my girlfriend and you was acting up, you're gonna have to come to cafe. Ooh. But one last question. <laughs> What's your favorite food out there in LA? Like a spot to go. A spot to go? Yeah, like a black owned type of, you know what I'm saying? I have a few of them. I have a few of them. But I ain't gonna lie. Ain't nothing like my Auntie Liz cooking. Like, Aww. yeah, my Auntie Liz cooking. And that's in L.A. And then when it when I hit Vegas, I like my uh, my mm -hmm. big cousin. I call her Auntie, too, my Kiki. I like her cooking. You feel me? And then, too, another place I like to go is to my sis Nas house in L.A. I love her cooking. Like, I like, I like a home-cooked meal, to keep it real with you. If it's not seafood, Ooh, okay. yeah, if it's not seafood or something like that, like, I like a home-cooked meal, for real, for real. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, because I be seeing you eating. You be eating good, you be smoking good, so <laughs> I just want to know, like, what, what, you, what you fuck with, I'm fucking with. Yeah, shout out to Lo Get The okay. Dough. Shout out to Lo Get The Dough. That's who be cooking in here, you feel me? And, and we be eating the oh, dough. We be eating you. it up. Period. Shout out to them. No shade. But all right, Barbie girl. All right. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to do a little commercial real quick. Let me get ready for my commercial real quick. Let me do my commercial. I got to take the jacket off because she made me feel sexy. She made me feel sexy. Can I get a close up? Okay. This is your girl, Big Liddy, not Lydia. And if you want this fade, come and get it. And today, this outfit I have on is by Swag Boutique, and this hair is by Kiki Hustle. Make sure y'all go get you an outfit from Swag Boutique. Use the code Big Liddy. Because if you want this fade, come get it. Okay. Y'all like my commercial? Did y'all like my commercial? It's kind of cold in here, so I'm putting my jacket back on. But did y'all like my commercial? Did y'all? Did y'all like my commercial? Tell me y'all like my commercial. Please tell me y'all like my commercial. Was it cute? Was it cute? Was the commercial cute? Okay. I'm gonna do another one, just a little quick one with the jacket on. Because the titties be popping out. One more quick one, one more quick one. This your girl, Big Liddy, not Lydia. And if you want this fade, come get it. And today I got on this beautiful outfit by Swag Boutique. And if you wanna purchase a few outfits from there, go ahead and use the code word Big Liddy for 10% off. Go ahead and follow them on Instagram at swag2gs underscore boutique. And also the hair, Kiki Hustle. If you want this paid, come get it. Was that cute, y'all? Was that cute? I hope it was. 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 I'm going to chop them up. And post it first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Okay, let me get back to these calls because that's what we're here for. And I'm going to give y'all like maybe like 15 more minutes and then I got to get up out of here.
All righty, open the call uh, the call line back up. Oh my gosh, like y'all be calling so fast that I can't answer the phone. That's how much y'all be calling. Like it's not letting me um, it's not letting me answer no more calls. Hold on. All right, let me do this and go back to it. Let's go back to it. Okay, do not disturb. There we go. This is Liddy. What's the deal? Liddy, I know you fucking lying, girl. Oh, my God. I'm not fucking lying. If you want to come get it. We got to get it. Liddy, we got to get into it because I feel like we're the only people who saw that fight the way it went down. What fight? If them girls would not have hopped on these teams. Oh my gosh. Laid that's why they panic. They panic. I don't want to talk about that. I'm sorry. Okay, dog. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about that. I'm on your show, dog. Tell me. I don't want to talk about that. You supposed to ask me about me. Thank you. Liddy, how did you feel when you first got casted? Like, I, I know you probably passed uh, asked that a million times. I was watching your show the other day. I was really taken back by your resume off the Disney and the ESPN and all the stuff you did. Like, it was Nickelodeon. In Nickelodeon, right? Nick, Nick Toon, baby. And, and what's next? Because I love this talk show, Liddy. Like, I literally tune in. I get off at midnight on the East Coast. And you be live. I can mm. hop in my bed. I roll up. Oh, and I period. got to do tonight. I'm talking to Big Liddy. You talking to Big Liddy, baby. You talking to Big Liddy, baby. Yeah, so this was next. What's next is I'm going to get a live audience in this bitch. Okay? I'm going to get a live audience okay. in here. So y'all could come. And y'all going to purchase tickets and shit. And y'all going to come here. And y'all not going to fight. You feel me? And we going to turn up. You get what I'm saying? Also, what's next? Your show was giving, giving classy. Your show was giving classy. I feel like, like I feel like it's giving clatchet because yeah. some days I feel ratchet. So classy and clatchet together is clatchet, you know? Absolutely. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. And we know it's in you. And I just know you're going to go so far with this lady. I'm so proud of you. Just real, real talk. I'm an old ass man. I'm 30 years old. And I watch this shit and I really like you. You're a leader. You're going to continue to you. lead. You're going to do wonderful things. I can't. I, I'm going to keep watching you, girl. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for taking my phone call. And that hair, I just can't keep staring at it. Ooh. Thank you, hair by Kiki, Kiki Hustle. Kiki, tell her. Say, Kiki, you did your yes, shit. Kiki Hustle. Yes, Kiki. Thank and you where you from? Call, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. When you out period. here in North Carolina, you hit me up. I got you on everything, baby. All right? Okay, period. Yep, North Carolina in the building. They say hair by Kiki Hustle did our shit, right? Period. Big one. She done her big one. Period. Thank you. You have a blessed night. You too, boo. Y'all, don't call in here talking about E.T. Don't do that. Y'all be like, Liddy, keep your ghetto broke ass on now that's TV. But y'all calling me. Asking me. Um, Liddy, Zeus don't want you. Who? So? Like, the fuck I'm supposed to care? I got a couch. Fuck I care about a Zeus for and I got a couch. I got a whole couch and cameras. Fuck. Care about no motherfucking. And I got... Hello. Thank you for calling the lady show. Hello. Where are you calling from? Oh, she got scared. I made her nervous. She got scared. Okay, next caller. Look, y'all, I wish I could show y'all how these calls is coming in. Like, it's coming in so fast that the phone not letting me pick it up. The phone is not letting me pick it up. Okay, there we go. What's the deal, this Liddy? Big Liddy, big Liddy. If you want this fade, come and get it. What's the deal, baby? Where are you hey, calling from? I didn't think I was going to make it through. Colleen, Texas. You from Texas? What what part? Celine, Texas? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, period. Texas in the building. So what's up? What you want to talk about? Yeah. So what's like your next big project? What we gonna see you on next? I don't know if I missed that or not. My next big project is me. Okay. That's my next big project. I am the project. I am I am doing this shit. You know? Okay. So and you're doing it big. Right. So if I go to sleep tomorrow. And I think of an idea, I'm going to do it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm moving off, you feel me? I'm moving off Liddy and the support system around me. That's what I'm doing. Okay, big blessings, big blessings. Period. Period. Okay, well, thank you for taking my call. Thank you for calling in, baby. Thank you for calling in. You're welcome, love. Call from... This big lady, what's the deal? Hey, big lady. Big Virgo, what's up, baby? What's the deal? Big Virgo energy, what's that? Big Virgo, yes, yeah, represent from Chicago, baby. What's going on? Chicago, period. Period. Yes, I, hey, I'm a fan of you, Joe. I've been getting my ass whooped on this internet for you. But I'm going to stand 10 toes for you because I love you so much, lady. What be going on on the internet? Talk to me. Man, Joe, I don't give a fuck how wrong or right you is. I'm going to stand 10 toes, and that's Big Virgo shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> and I love you so much. So, hey, Liddy, you a baddest chocolate thing on this motherfucking internet. God knew what the fuck he was doing when he created you. You look so good. Stand up for one second. Just stand up for me, please. This ain't no, you're going to have to pay for that, baby. fuck you talking about? Don't be forcing the baby to do the dance. Don't do that. Don't hey, force the baby. She a okay, period. She, she a supporter. Thank you. Thank you. You have a blessed night. Right, Kiss you. the baby for me. You too, baby. This lady, what's the deal? What's good with it? What's popping? Where you calling from? Big Tim, Big Lady, Big Lady. You want the spade? Come, Come get, get it. it. You calling from Big Ten? That's Tennessee. Yeah. Okay. Period. Look, I'm learning. Big Look Mama, you know what it is. Who? Who was you? Big Look Mama. Oh shit! <laughs> Hey, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look. So, uh, the other day he was asleep, but he uh he tried to stay up for all night the other night Monday, and then he like he woke up the next morning like, mommy, we missed Big Lady, we missed Big Lady. Oh. I said, we gotta know, baby, we gotta try. I said we gotta try again next week. He said, uh 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 uh, we just calling, mommy, we just calling. Oh. I said, no, baby, we gotta wait till Monday, we gonna wait till Monday. He said, okay, mommy. Okay, well, we got to call Big Lady. We got to call her. So, he's sleeping right now, though, but I'm going to let him know that I talked to you, and then we going to try to get a substitute on Monday. So Okay, period. So, 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 so how can I book Nook for the Liddy Show? Yeah, he's available. He's available. You just got to let me know. Okay, so, look, I got to get in, I gotta get in touch uh, with you because I don't know if it's your people. I don't know who it is. But they was on, They I had made a post like, who y'all want to see on the Liddy Show? And they was on TikTok like, put Big Nook on the Liddy Show. I'm like, you want Nook? They like, yeah, we want Nook. So. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if there's too many people on there. I don't know too many of my family members on TikTok, but. Ooh. You book, you, you get in touch with me and you let me know what's up. 
And I was definitely could get down there. He wanted to see you anyway, so. Okay, period. So text this line. Text this line, you big nook mama, right now, before everybody else start doing it. And I don't know if it's really you. So go ahead and, and text it right now, you feel me? And I'm going to hit y'all, all right? <laughs> all right, babe. We love you. All right, I love you too. Tag me in a post too with nook. Tag me in a post so, I, so if I can see the message. All right, period. All Thank right. y'all. We need Nook on the show. We need Nook on the show. I'm getting Nook on the show. This the Liddy Show. What's the deal? Hello? Hello. What's up? This Liddy. Hi, Big Liddy, Big Liddy. I love you. Period. I love you, too. Where are you calling from? I'm from Santa Barbara. Period. You're from Santa Barbara. Tonight and I love you. Oh my god, you're from Santa Barbara, period. What what um so you from the West Coast? Uh-huh. So y'all why are y'all watching South Central Baddies in Santa Barbara? Like, what's up? Like, how y'all be watching the show? I got questions. We we get it every we watch it every Sunday and we love it. It's literally like a tradition. Period a tradition. Yes, girl, we love you. Oh, my God. I, so, what, you in college in Santa Barbara? Oh, I'm a senior in high school, sadly. Oh, you a senior in high school. So, this is Santa Barbara. So, you go to Santa Barbara High School? Yeah. So, what's up? Like, I want to come perform up there. Can y'all get me up there? What's the deal? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, talk, I'll talk about you. I'll look at you up. Period. I, I want to come up there. If you, so you go to Santa Barbara High School. Hello. Oh wait, I put her on hold on accident. My bad. Are you here? Yeah, you just said you sat back there with big nook mama. Oh my God, what happened? I hung up on Santa Barbara, mama. I got nook mama on the phone, y'all. I'm loaded. <laughs> Oh, you were still on the phone? Dang, y'all, this is going crazy. Listen, little baby from Santa Barbara High School, make sure you tap in with me. I'm, I'm, listen, if the schools don't let me in, I'm going to be outside y'all schools. And I'm going to try to get a truck, and I'm going to get a speaker, and I'm going to get a mic. And I'm about to, big lady, big lady, I'm pulling up. Okay, period. Bye, Nook Mama, hit me up. Y'all, this phone line going crazy. It's like too much going on. What's the deal, this big Liddy? What's the deal, this big Liddy? Liddy, oh my God, big Virgo down, love you. Big Virgo energy, where you calling from? Where you calling from? Yes, I'm calling from the Bay Area, but you know I'm from the IE. Oh shit, okay. Oh okay. shit. Turn your TV down so I don't echo. So I don't echo. Oh my bad, my bad. <laughs> yes, I just want to say the hair is fucking laid. It's sweet. Tell her by Kiki. Tell Kiki she did her shit. Tell Kiki she did her yes, shit. Kiki, girl, you did your big one. You did your shit. And I'm going to hit you up because, you know, I need that too. You feel me? Period. Hair by Kiki Period. Hustle. She said you did that. She said you did that. Yes. I just want to say, like, Liddy, like, we really need the merch. You feel me? I need the shirt. If you want the say, come get it. Period. I need the merch. So when we getting merch? Did you think about it's, merch? Yes, I am. It's coming yes, soon. But I'm going to be it's honest with you. Like, all of these bitches got, um, got shirts and shit. Like, I want to do something different for y'all. Like, I want to do something that y'all can remember that y'all going to like. That's, like, you know, up to date and shit. So, I'm really at the drawing board when it comes to the merch. Because I don't just want to give y'all no merch. Like, I want to give y'all some hot shit. You feel me? I want to give y'all some hot shit. Yes, I feel you. I do feel you on that. But it's nobody like Lady Period. Like... You really doing your shit. You really taking your shit, your platform to the next level. And I commend you on that. All the shit that you're doing for real. Period. Thank you so much Period. for calling Thank in. I love you. I love you. I love you more. Bye. Okay, bye bye. Y'all, Santa Barbara, where you at, baby? Cause Santa Barbara was in the building. Can y'all believe it? Santa Barbara called in to the Liddy show. Y'all don't know how big that is for black people. That's really big for black people that Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara called into the Liddy Show. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. If you know, you know. 
Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. Hello? Liddy on the phone. Girl, what's up? Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. Look, they don't even know I'm on the phone. That's cold. See, you just wasted somebody's spot in line. Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, next caller. Okay, there we go. Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. What's the deal? Hey, big Liddy, big Liddy. If you want the spade, come and get it. If you want the spade, come and get it. Hey, big Virgo shit. My uncle just called me. He's a Virgo. My little sister Virgo, so I'm fucking with Virgos. Um, bro, we Period. We watch you all the motherfucking time, bro. I'm big Liddy fan for fucking ass. Supporter. Fucking Where you calling from? I'm a big supporter. Where you calling, I'm calling from? from the, I'm calling hey, from the Hey, Liddy, I tried to be quiet, yo. though. But fuck that, Joe. I told to call you again because I have to rep you then, though. This big bird go on the phone again, though. Fuck, hey, fuck, hey, fuck, it's, fuck it's, the sound, though. It's big Liddy game, Liddy, I got liquor in my mouth and I almost spit it out because I recognize the way. Hey, hey, big Chicago gonna stand up for Liddy over here fucking calm down, big. Hey, I'll take you over your call. Big Virgo shit. Watch out, folks. Watch out. Big Virgo shit, baby. He ain't tipping out. Watch out. Period. Big Virgo shit. Y'all crazy. I love y'all. I love you. I gotta call. That's the next call. <laughs> How did he get through again? What's the deal? This is the Liddy Show. Hey, Liddy. What's up, baby? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from the Bay Area. Okay, period. Big Bay Area in the building. What's up? What, what, what you want to talk about? Say, I really want to see you on the show. Like, I don't know. Like, just do post girl. You like seeing you know, me fight? Like, yeah. No, I like seeing you yes, fight. You do. Like yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, no. I mean, like, you can't. You're one of my favorite fighters, but, like, I like seeing you be, like, I like the show. Like, I like your podcast. That's why I like seeing you out of you. What if I told you I'm tired of fighting? I mean, I don't believe it. And I just want to choke people out. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I don't want to fight like no more. I just want to grab my hand around bitches' throats and just choke them out. Like, instead of the headlock, I'm just going to start choking bitches. You know? Um, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, I like, I like the positive side of you, honestly. There we go. There we go. I'm 16 years old. I have a clothing brand, so just watching you always, like, inspire the youth. And even though, like, whatever you fight, but you always know how to pull it back and be professional at the end of the day. So that's what I really like about you. Aw, thank you, baby. So you say you're 16 and you have a clothing brand. Yeah. Okay, so what's the name of your clothing brand? My clothing brand is Hollywood on Instagram, two L's and two D's, H-L-L-Y-W-E-D on Instagram. Okay, period. And, and where, you, where you said you was calling from? The Bay Area. The Bay Area, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I want some, if I want some of your. I haven't like, even seen any of your clothes, yeah. but I want some, because what you said yeah, I was, I, I like, I like that, I like that. Well, what school you go to? Um, I'm on independent study. I recently got online because I want to focus more time on my brand. Okay. And I just really want to focus on my brand. Okay, period, period, period. So you going to, like, uh, oh, well, you 16. You don't graduate yet, so you're not going to prom yet. No, but I will be graduated early, though. Okay, period. Congratulations. So, so like being what I want you to do is I want you to DM me, and I want you to hit me up because I want, I want some of your clothes. So I'm going I'm to promote your brand on my show on one of my episodes. So I want you to, okay. you know, give me your stuff. I want to I wanna collaborate with you, baby, because I like that. you 16. You got your own clothing brand. At 16, I didn't have no clothing brand. Yeah. I was in juvenile hall. 
You feel me? So I salute what you're doing. You you doing the right thing. So yeah, I'm gonna support you. Okay. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate. It. I'll be giving you after this video. Okay, hold on. I'm about to give you a code word because I know people gonna lie and say it's them. Okay, no problem, baby. You have a blessed night. You too. You on the Liddy show, Liddy After Dark. What's the deal? Oh, am I talking to Liddy? Yeah, the one and only, baby. The only Liddy in the motherfucking oh. city. Yeah, I'm talking to Liddy. I'm talking to Liddy. Yes, you are talking to Liddy. I love you, Liddy. I really do. I love you, too. Wait, like, what's going on? Like, like, um, where you from? Today? Where are you Arkansas. calling from? Arkansas. Arkansas. Okay, period. Big Arkansas in the building. I've been out there. So, what's up? Like, what, what you, what you want to talk to Liddy about? You got a question for me? You want to tell me something? What's the deal? Okay, Liddy. When is the next time you is gonna be on my screen? <sighs> so, uh, you might see me on your screens again soon, but it most likely probably won't be as a cast member. I don't think I don't think that's for me right now. Oh, you host? I hope so, but not even that. Like, I might be slipping behind the scenes, like you know. And but you gonna always see me on your screen on the Liddy Show, and I'm about to be like trying to produce my own, like you know, my own shows. You gonna see that? You gonna see Liddy in her bag? I just love you, Liddy. I love you <laughs> real bad, like real bad. I love you too. But I was just, I was just calling to say hi. Okay, thank you. Bye, Liddy. All right, bye, bye. All right, y'all. Look, it's nine fifty-four Cali time. At ten o'clock, I'm shutting this down. Thank you for calling the Liddy Show. It's Liddy After Dark. What's the deal? What's the deal, baby? Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Albany, New York. You know what? New York has been New York been getting through the phone lines. New York doing this thing. Y'all get me booked in New York. So what, what's up, baby? What you want to talk about? Period, Liddy. Thank you. Gotta go and throw a day. Keep being the best that you can be. Like, you just keep hating on you. Fuck you just talking about. This is the haters, you know? They really do be some hating ass hoes. Hating hoes ain't happy hoes, though. Period. I just love you, Liddy. Big Liddy. Fuck is y'all talking about? Fuck is y'all talking about all the way from New York? Big Liddy. Thank you, baby, for calling. Period. It's Liddy at the dark, and you calling Big Liddy. What's the deal? Big Liddy, Big Liddy. If you want this fade, come get it. What's up, baby? Um, I just wanted to, I didn't think it was an answer. Oh, my God. But Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore. Maryland. Period. Baltimore in the building. Baltimore, Maryland in the yes, building. What's the deal? Yes, um, I just wanted to. Actually, I just wanted some advice because I see how you, you know, you you in front of her, whatever. Okay, hold on. You need some advice? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You need some advice? Hold on. Let me light my blunt, okay? Hold on. She want advice. Listen, y'all, I'm going to tell you something. You call this line and you want some advice, do not ask me for relationship advice because you will end up in a domestic violence relationship. Okay, don't do it. I'll give you some advice, but yeah. Okay, so what's up, baby? Let's talk about it. Okay, so I'm 21. I'm, like, just trying to figure, like, so, you know, I don't really have mom and daddy like that. Like, I just want to know, like, what did you do? Like, how did you know, like, what you wanted to do in life? Like, what was your stepping for? Like, I don't know. So, me growing up, 
I used to I used to want to be like uh, in the WNBA, right? Mm-hmm. Then I wanted to be a cheerleader. Then I wanted to be a nurse. Then I wanted to I wanted to be all type of shit. But one thing I always did was write music and write poems. What? Because I never thought that I could be a big artist. Like, I knew I could write music. I knew I could do poems. But I never thought that was for me. I used to even wanted to model. I used to look at America's Next Top Model. And I wanted to be a model. So, at the end of the day, it's not about when you find out what you want to be. It's more about when you find out who you are inside. You feel me? Because you always want to find something that you love to do. You want to find something that you're passionate about. And and that's the best advice that I could give you. Like, find something that you're passionate about. Find something that you love to do. Find something that when you wake up in the morning, you smile about doing it. You feel me? No matter how tired you are. But you, you really want to do it because it interests you or it's a passion. You know? And then you capitalize yeah. off that shit. You get the bag off of it. That's what you do. Period. <laughs> did I you. give you some good advice, you think? You definitely did. You definitely did. But to be honest, you didn't even need to say all that. Like, you being on TV, you doing what you do already. Give me, like, you know, the motivation I need. That's what you need. Yeah. Like, I love you. You have a blessed night, baby. I love you, too. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. 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 Bye.
Okay, so y'all gotta let me know in the comments on this video. Let me know, and I'm not just talking about the live comments. Y'all been in all night going crazy, and I appreciate y'all. But I'm talking about the comments on the video. Right now, before I end this, make sure you like this video. Go ahead and like this video. Like this video. If you watching and you a new subscriber, make sure you go ahead and hit that button. Subscribe to my shit, okay? Support me. Okay, make sure y'all subscribe to my shit. And also, huh, happy Black History Month. I'm proud to be black. Okay, proud to be black. Proud to be black, okay? Make sure you guys also, um, if you're in the West Coast, make sure you guys use code Ashika. Ashika, use Ashika has shoes. I got a, a promo code with them as well. So go ahead and uh, shop at Ashika. Shop at Ashika, use code name Big Liddy. Also, shop at Swag Boutique, use code name Big Liddy, okay? And make sure you guys are also following Media Spill Network. If you're a young artist or you just got some motion going on, you know, it's feel free to tap in. You feel me? Mi casa es su casa, okay? Y'all ain't know I knew Spanish, okay? Make sure y'all do that. And again, the motherfucking Liddy Show, we will be back on Monday. Bye.